Hey everybody, what's going on? It's Mr. Hino with Mr. Hino's LEGO Robotics. Today's video, I have this robot. I can't even fit the whole thing in one shot here. This dude is so tall. This robot's gonna basically help me figure out the acceleration of gravity on a falling object. That falling object's gonna be that steel ball that we have in the LEGO EV3 kit. So if you wanna see all of that, you're gonna have to stay with me. So if you guys check the description, I've left you the link to everything. In fact, for you teachers for robotics, it actually has the lesson and the program and the building instructions for this guy. So it's going to show you everything you're going to need to know on how to find out again the acceleration of gravity on a falling object. So what I'm going to basically do is show you how this works. I'm going to do 10 trial or tests and then basically show you how this robot helps me figure out the acceleration of gravity on a falling object. So let's take a look at this guy. Look how tall this guy is. I still can't get the entire thing in one shot here. But let me go ahead and explain what this is going to do. And this is, thing is so tall. For those of you that would put the height in for this um, equation to figure out the acceleration of gravity on an object, it's 50 centimeters high between where the ball is resting and this catch. Whoa, it's way farther down than I thought. There's actually a touch sensor down here where it the ball triggers the touch sensor. So that's 50 centimeters. For those of you with inches, it's 19.6 inches. So basically, here's what's going to happen. When the program starts, there's going to be an hourglass on the screen. It's going to be waiting for me to press this touch sensor it will release the steel ball and the ball will fall all the way down in here hopefully to trigger this touch sensor and it will give me a reading um, basically in seconds on how long did it take for the ball to drop um, for those of you <clears throat> that would do this experiment you're just going to have to be careful because the ball doesn't fall in here all the time in fact if you get a sad face or if the ball just does not fall into this catch area right here, it will not give you a reading. And I'll be honest with you, when I did my uh, trial runs that you're going to see in a second, I basically had more fails than successes. Just because, um, you know, if this thing is not perfectly straight, the ball will fall and maybe hit right here. Um, so... You have these tires here for counterbalance, but what I actually did was press here, and then I actually pressed it here to lean this back a little bit. If you're noticing, it does tilt a little bit this way, and the ball would hit right here or just literally fall. You know, it wouldn't fall into the catch basin right here. So put a little pressure on here to straighten it up, and then you would press this touch sensor. So here's what I'm going to do now. I'm going to do 10 trials. And then basically get an average of the time and then basically use my <clears throat> don't tell anybody but i'm using a calculator to figure out basically the acceleration or you know in the end how fast was that steel ball going basically by the time it hit that touch sensor so let's have you take a look at all 10 of my trials
Okay, so I did those 10 trials. Let me move over. If you guys missed um, what the screen was showing, here are all the, the 10 times that I received in seconds on the screen. And don't worry about the, you know, in the program, it'll automatically show you what those seconds are on your screen. So if you basically just download that program, and again, check the description for everything, the building instructions and the program, it will basically tell you what the times are. So these are my 10 times. And then I basically, I just wanted an average because, you know, I just wanted to be able to put the average into the calculator and figure this all out. So my average was 0 0.3361. That was basically the average of all 10 times of the falling time in seconds. Now, I don't want to go over the equation with you because I would probably bore you to death and maybe lose some of you. You'd be like, click, I ain't watching that. But let me go ahead and take you through now the equation. So my computer says that if we drop that ball from 50 centimeters at a time of 0 0.3361, the final downward velocity is negative 3.14 meters per second. So, you know, if you're looking for that, again, that acceleration and basic velocity, we're looking at negative 3.14 meters per second. So it's just one of those cool things now where you can take robotics. And for those of you that thought that math was involved, it really is. So now you can, you know, you can solve for a bunch of things. If we didn't know the height, you could put, you know, our figures into the equation and figure out the height. But it's kind of cool that we knew the height was 50 centimeters already. So it's just one of those cool projects where now you can actually take a look at this project and go, yeah, I can do a lesson on that if I'm a robotics teacher or physics teacher, you know, just being able to do all of that math and equations, which I'm not going to bore you with. Okay, guys, so hopefully you liked the acceleration of gravity robot. It's really cool, though, how it can figure out the robot has, you know, the sensors to figure out that falling time, which was super cool. Okay, guys, I am Mr. Hino from Mr. Hino's Lego Robotics. I'm out. He's out. He's out.